guessing the British and the Americans that you interview over the course of the film, especially the Texans, that they weren't familiar with your previous film, because they probably wouldn't have talked to you, I'm guessing, had they seen it. How, how did you get access to them and actually really capture them in those candid moments? Yeah, I, I don't think, I'm not sure if that is the case. I think people are uh, generously, uh, in general, uh, um, happy to be filmed uh, and happy to be represented because you, you don't only take, you don't just take a picture, but you give uh, your time and your attention to someone. and. Uh, and uh, the, the irony is that everyone in, in this film, let's say, everyone who comes as friends is very sure that they do just the right thing and the most important thing, uh, including, including myself. You know, I'm one of these friends and I came and I was sure that I have to make a movie and it's, it's really important. <laughs> so it's, uh, the irony is that the, 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 the context uh, in a film, of course, somebody who is filmed does not not know. And even me, I don't know where this you know, scene is going to go. But uh, ultimately, we all see our, our world and we, we all create our narrative, especially our, any person creates their narrative about uh, us versus me versus the world. And, and, uh, and the self-narrative is always flattering. And so do nations and cultures and tribes and empires create their narrative. Um, and the fact is that the narrative we create, let's say, in the Western society is very, very flattering for ourselves. And uh, we, are, we are just very uh, easily forget uh, that, you know, our societies or our civilization is built on, on, the, uh, on slavery and, <laughs> and exploitation and, and uh, piratry, you know, and, and theft, which is actually going on, you know, and I think everyone kind of knows it, but it's just uh, we prefer not to not to think about it, I think. So it's about, so maybe the film is, is about that too. Yeah. It's about this it's, it's a term that I kind of like it's, it's cognitive dissonance that you there are things in this film that you don't, that are almost unconceivable, you know, it's for example it's unconceivable that uh, w w let's say we all know that that we, or let's say the U.S. or the West, uh, sent a, a billion dollars to um, uh, to South Sudan. You can read the Guardian a billion dollars. Let's say uh, that's a figure I happen to know, but we don't realize that in perspective to that, a billion dollars is to access six hundred billion dollars worth of oil. Mm -hmm. And so we get these two figures. They're both online. You know, you can just Google it, and you have, have those figures, but you don't put them together. So that's the kind of the strangeness. The, that's for me the most fascinating part of our society, uh, of our time, is that it's not that that things are terrible, uh, not that that people are evil or or people are people. I mean, that's a part of human beings, is right? Being its, its own, being our own en enemy. But but how we create the narrative, you know, it's like uh, you know people. Uh, like a rapist would say, I, I love women, you know, it's, it's, so, yeah. it's, it, because this person is creating his, his narrative, you know, about, and he's in a way right, but, <laughs> but in a very perverse way, way you know.